All right, everyone. So I had to check out the cash games here at the WSOP, which this year is at Bally's and Paris. So we hop into the one, two, five dollar mandatory straddle on the button game. All right, everyone. So first playable hand, I look down at ace, 10, 10, three, double suited in middle position. So because the button has a mandatory straddle, the action actually starts with the small blind. So both the small blind and big blind call the $5. Over to me, I also limp and the button check. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes king, 10, nine with two clubs. Checks over to me, I bet 15. Folds over to the big blind who makes the call. So we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings a two, my opponent checks to me again, I bet 40, and he quickly makes the call. So we're still going heads up to a river. River brings another two, my opponent checks to me once again, I bet 120, and he thinks for a bit and folds, so we take it down. Here look down at ace, eight, five, five, single suited on the button. Couple limpers over to a middle position player who makes it 15. One caller to me, I call, and both the limpers call, so we're going five ways to a flop. Well comes 10-5-2 with two spades, checks over to me, I bet 70, and only the original Razor calls, so we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings another two, my opponent checks to me once again, I bet 125, and he quickly makes the call, so still heads up to a river. River brings another two, so obviously now I do lose to the remaining two, but he shouldn't really have that, shouldn't really change anything. My opponent checks me once again, and I think for a second, and push all in, and he snap calls. So I say fives full, and turn over my hand, and he mucks. So happy to double up here. Here, look down at queen, three, three, two, single suited on the button. There are four limpers to me. I check my option, and we're going five ways to a flop. Well comes eight, six, three with two diamonds. Checks to me, I bet 20, and there's one caller. So we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings another eight. My opponent now bets 45, and in the moment, I just thought that his bet meant that he had an eight. So I just figured to get all the money in now. He only has probably about 150 behind. So I make it 200 and he quickly folds. So we take it down. Here look down at queen jack 10 nine, single suited on the button. There are five limpers to me. Looking back, probably could have put in a raise, but I checked back and we're going six ways to a flop. Well comes queen 10 three with two diamonds. Early position player bets 20. One caller to me and I also call. So we're going three ways to a turn. Turn brings an eight. Early position checks over to middle position who bets 60. I make it 205. Early position folds over to the middle position player who makes the call. So we're going heads up to a river. River brings a six. My opponent checks to me. I count out some chips and bet 375 and he quickly folds. So we take it down. I ended up playing for a little while longer. Didn't get a ton to play. Played for about four hours total and decided to rack up. I uh, cashed out 1234, so profited 634 after being in 600, and I headed over to Resorts World to play the Tuesday Bomb Pot Only game. All right, everyone, so Bomb Pot Only game, uh, this one is $5, so everyone puts in $5, and you're immediately going to two flops, and the winner of each board wins half the pot. It was a lot harder taking notes for this game than I had originally anticipated, so you're just going to kind of see some of the main hands that I played here. This particular one, I looked down at king nine, six, five, single suited in the small blind. We go to flops of king, queen, eight with two clubs and eight, seven, four with two hearts. I check, action actually checks over to the button who bets 25. I call and there are two other callers. So we're going four ways to two turns. The turns bring a four on top and a two on the bottom. I bet 140, folds over to the button who makes the call. So we're going heads up to two rivers. Rivers bring a three on top and a two on the bottom. So while I didn't really love the board pairing on the bottom, my opponent only has 110 left. So I'm not gonna fold if he puts it in. So I just put it in and he quickly makes the call. He turns over queen 10, eight, eight. So he flopped sets on both, filled up on the bottom board and he's gonna take it down. I also got to meet and hang out with Danny. He's actually one of the members of the PLO Posse. Really cool guy. He lives in the Palm Springs area. He's seated to my right in this particular hand. I look down at eight, six, five, five. We're going six ways to flops of king, queen, five with two spades and ace, 10, five rainbow. Checks over to Danny who bets 25. I make the call and one of the early position players call. So we're going three ways to two turns. The turns bring a two of hearts on the top and a seven of hearts on the bottom. Both players check to me, I bet 40, early position player calls, and Danny also calls. So still going three ways to two rivers. Rivers bring out a six of spades on the top and a seven of clubs on the bottom. Early position player only has 180 left. He puts it all in the middle. Over to Danny who tanks for probably about 45 seconds, but eventually makes the fold. Over to me, I don't really love it, but I believe I have to call, even though I believe he 
most likely has spades on the top. I'm just kind of hoping to call and get a chop out of it. So I do make the call and he turns over ace jack seven four with the ace seven of spades. So he's got the nut flush on the top and he rivered the boat on the bottom. So he's gonna scoop it up here. The game was pretty short-handed at that point and me and Danny decided to rack up. What's up guys, Wayne back here with you. So the sessions you just saw, I was in for 1600 total, out for 1899, so profit of 299. If you haven't already done so, check out my previous videos. I'll link it up here and stay tuned for the next couple weeks. You guys will see the rest of my Vegas sessions. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.